No, I mean, why is this just a piece that was down there? What? What is up, YouTube? So, it's been a really long time, and I'm sorry, but today what we're doing is replacing Ori's throttle body in his Patriot. Of course it needs some more work, but figured there's not many videos on it on YouTube, so I'll make one. Uh, side note, if you're wondering why the warehouse looks the way it does, we moved to another place down the road, and while we're in the moving process, and this place is mostly empty, we're gonna work on our cars inside here. And plus it's really cool warehouse looking. Okay. okay, so Ori took my car to go back to his house to get the new throttle body, but in the meantime, I pulled his car in, and I am going to start taking the old one out and hopefully by the time he gets back, we'll be ready to put the new one in. Um, so the first step though is to remove this. And then next is the battery. So for that you use a 10 millimeter socket on a ratchet and just take care of it off. Take out the battery. And then next is to remove this tube here, this actually goes from the airbox down to the throttle body. You can't really see it yet, but start with removing this. Okay, so the way this unclips is you push down this black part and then you pull the red part back like that. And then it should just pop right out. Like that. Ta-da! Put that aside and then we need to get a 10 millimeter and undo this one and then there's another clamp down here somewhere. So tell them exactly like why you're replacing this. So on Jeep Patriots uh, 2012 to 2014 I think are uh, affected. The TPS sensor goes which is the replacement one. Um, somewhere over here, but unfortunately you have to replace the throttle body unit to uh, replace the sensor. Uh, now a lot of people said that it should be a uh, uh, recalled part. Unfortunately, no one's really done anything about it, so you could either spend 100, 200 bucks in labor and shop fees getting it done, or you could just do it yourself and have a pain in the ass day. So that's what we're <laughs> gonna do. Okay, so that's, we got the, uh, this pipe out. Air hose? Air hose, I guess, yeah. Air hose, we got the air hose out. And then now we have access to the throttle body. So I gotta, what is That's this the wire for the sensor. It should just pop out. No, I mean, why is this just a piece that was down there? A what? <laughs> what is this? I don't know. This it's looks like to be attached wait. to. <laughs> wait, was it just chilling down there, not attached to anything? Is that even part of my car? I don't, what the heck? <laughs> no, it was literally chilling right here by your engine mount. It was like, damn, no wonder your car rattles so much. <laughs> it says uh, other fluids will damage the CVT. You don't even have a CVT in this thing, right? It's a regular, it's a regular automatic. What's a CVT? It's like a belt-driven transmission. It doesn't actually shift. Um, all right, well that explains some engine. Uh, that's right. crazy. <laughs> okay, so this sensor, there's two clips here, I'll hold. here and here. <laughs> okay, so here and here, you just squeeze them together and it should just pull out. Oh, yeah. oh, I heard it. I heard it come out. You gotta squeeze both of these sides in. Yeah, that's what I did. And then pull out. My fingers are too, too uh, feeble. <laughs> okay. Okay. Next part is the four bolts you have here. You have 
one here and here, and then one here and here. 10 it's millimeter. 10 millimeter. And I'll just start loosening away. You probably won't be able to see it. Loosening, uh, so I just got all the bolts out for the throttle body, but there's a little bracket down here. Um, so here's the throttle body, and there's this bracket right here. And then it goes over to here where my thumb is, and that's the bolt to loosen it. And then once that's loosened, just put the camera it'd be right easier. It it'd be easier to pull this out. So I just loosened the bracket and I was able to pull this out. Yay! It smells like gasoline. Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's compare the parts. Ooh, ah, shiny, corroded. <laughs> <laughs> well, the most important part of comparing parts is making yeah. sure it's the same part. We've had experiences where it hasn't been. Yeah, uh, with your somehow, car. somehow, whenever I order something, it's always the wrong it's part. always the wrong part. You know, the first time you ordered your throttle body, it was the wrong part. Yes, too. and also if you guys remember wheel bearing, wheel bearing. Yeah, ordered, the first one was wrong. So just... I should stop using Rock Auto. Rock Auto, though. They keep on sending me the wrong freaking part. That's true. But you get a cool magnet. They never send me a magnet. You've never gotten a magnet with your orders? No, I've never got one of those It comes magnets. with all their orders. I don't know then. Maybe I have, I just yeah. throw it out. <laughs> okay, so we have this replacement gasket. And that goes down, see the orange? That's the old one. So just a matter of pulling that out. Somehow. I want it to be. So, see that? And that's the old gasket. And that should just go right in. Yeah. Stuff. Okay, so that's in. Great success. Time for this to go in. Do you want me there to we go, I got it. All right, great. Just line up the holes. They lined up on their own. Oh, I see why. So there's actually, I didn't notice that. This is the old one, exactly the same as the new one. There's these little um, spots here. One here, another one here. And there's actually, there's a little like pin that comes up out of the out of the engine that sits in these holes. Oh, okay. To line it up properly. That's why I was having trouble. I'm gonna do this thing. Wait, um... Alright, so everything's back together, except for the battery. But before we put the battery back in, and that other part, I guess we're going to check the, uh, the air filter. Just, uh, we're looking back at that, like, CVT, um oil tube that we found and it actually turns out that um, this does have a CVT so I was wrong um, so I guess we should look around and see like if it broke off of anything anywhere but I don't think it was like stuck in his it was stuck in your um, engine mount so I think it was from a past repair or something so we uh we did some more research about this, and um, you guys saw where we found it, down there at the engine mount. Well, there's actually that hole right there that I'm zooming in on is where it's supposed to attach to, but clearly this hasn't been <laughs> there so, for a long time. It wasn't on there a when regular it took... car, when you pull out your battery, it should be somewhere over here next yeah. to your battery. <laughs> clearly. That was not the case yeah. with my rusty. <laughs> we just thing. looked back. We just looked back at the footage uh, to see if it was there before I took the battery out, and it wasn't. So. Uh, this is probably why I'm, my car is really loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moment of truth. 
He's turning it on. The truth is overrated. <laughs> oh. I'll get it. Give it a little gas, see what it does. Alright, that's good. Yeah, well, I gotta drive it around. And see. Yeah. But it revs and everything, so. Well, looks like it drives. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Come again. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's it for tonight. Um, everything went actually a lot smoother than I thought. Usually, whenever we work on cars, there's always something that goes wrong. But uh, we didn't run into any big obstacles or anything. So I hope you guys found that helpful. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. And I'll do my best to respond in a timely manner. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Ciao.